Greetings. Today I want to talk to you about everybody's favorite subject, having their eyes dilated. What could be more fun? Well, all right, maybe, maybe it's not the fun thing. But why do we do this test if it's so annoying? Well, there's a lot of good reasons. And I want you to know because people are spreading information that is not true. For example, if you go on the internet, there's a huge marketing campaign telling you that if you have the Optos test, you don't need to be dilated. Or at least it's implying that and doing so very, very strongly. This is not even vaguely true. And uh, if you go on our website, you can learn more about that. And I'm sure there are plenty of other places where you can learn. In addition to that, why is it necessary to dilate the eyes? Well, the reason we dilate your eyes is because you can have a tear in your retina that's not detected, at least this is one of the reasons, without having your eyes dilated. This affects people who are young and old. It happens in both age groups. In young people, your retina can tear because you're physically active and you happen to be nearsighted, even if you're not nearsighted. But if you're nearsighted, there's a higher risk. In older people, because the eye ages and things shrink and change, things can tear. Now, a retinal tear cannot be detected easily by optos. Optos is a very poor image and it misses a good part of the retina. You talk to any retinal specialist, and, and these are people who repair the tears, they will tell you exactly what I'm telling you, and not what the promoters are telling you. So don't get fooled by anybody who tells you Optos is such a great test. It's not, and it doesn't really help. The dilated exam, however, will let us detect even tiny little tears that are beginning. When a tear is beginning, we can treat it in office with a laser, and it prevents the tear. Now, if you have a tear, you're going to a retinal specialist, and they're going to be operating on your eye. This is not something you want, and your vision is never the same, and very often it's very poor afterwards. So you should have a dilation. How often depends on your health. We do not dilate our patients every year. If we know you're in good health, we may do it in the second or third year. But you need to be dilated on a regular basis. We recently saw some people who had come from another office. And we found out that these people in 12 years had never been dilated. And they were surprised that I was going to dilate their eyes. Didn't know why I was going to do it. You should not accept that as your standard of care. And don't let anybody talk you into thinking that Optos does something that's better than a dilation. It does almost nothing. We do not have the machine because it's such a poor quality machine. There are gimmicks in eye care. There are gimmicks in every industry. Don't be fooled by them. And do expect that your eyesight is important enough that you get the quality of care you deserve. The standard of care is to have your eyes dilated. If someone's not doing that, you need to be seen elsewhere.